What's up, everybody? My name is Jacob Hardison, and today I'm gonna teach you how to calibrate your speed control. Welcome back, everybody, to, of course, the lovely Adrenaline RC YouTube channel, where today I'm gonna teach you how to do probably the most important setting of all on your speed control, which is gonna be properly calibrating it to your radio. And the reason it's very, very important is because your only connection to the vehicle around the track is what your eyes can perceive and what you can feel through the radio, even though you're not really feeling it because, well, you're not in the car. You don't truly know what's happening. But because those are your only two reference points, your only two connections, it's very important to make sure that whatever trigger input you give from the radio matches what the car is doing on track. That way, as per usual, you can have the best opportunity to go the fastest on track. Even if the calibration is off ever so slightly, it can be just enough of a potential delay or offset that really makes you feel very, very disconnected from the car, which can make it very, very difficult to drive. So last week, of course, we went over two important ESC settings, and today we're gonna go, go over the most important of all of the speed control settings. Here in front of me is going to be my Ace Go Electric buggy, which has a Teak and speed control in it. And then of course my dad's Techno buggy has a Hobby Wing speed control in it. And then my dad's 10th scale buggy has a Reedy speed control in it. So we've got a, a, a good variety of speed controls to look at today. So we'll start out with the Tekken because it's just right here in front of me. I'll go over how to properly get your radio set up to where you can do the calibration correctly. And then we'll go into the Hobby Wing speed control and we'll end off with the Reedy speed control. So let's get into it. All right, so here we are with the car in front of us with our lovely Teak and Speed Control. And of course we have our batteries plugged in that way while well, we can turn the car on. But before we actually go ahead and power this guy on for the first time, we're gonna slide it out of the way and we're actually gonna jump into the radio first. So I'm gonna power up my Sonwa radio. Now your interface might be slightly different, but the process is gonna be the exact same. For me to get to my endpoint adjustment, I'm gonna go to setting, then I'm gonna go down to my base, and you can see we are set to 100% and 100%. It is exceptionally important that you make sure your endpoints are set properly before you do this. That way, again, you are calibrated properly. So you wanna be 100% throttle, 100% brake. That way, everything is even, smooth, and happy hunky-dory. So now that we've done that, I can actually slide this out of the way for just a moment bring our speed control back in front of us. And this is gonna be slightly awkward because I'm gonna to have to show the speed control and then also show my trigger inputs. So I'm gonna hold it with my thumb, which is gonna be kind of weird, but it's gonna make it to where we can kind of see the speed control and my trigger at the same time. We'll figure it out. Maybe this way is the best. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead, power it up. It's gonna go through its whole process. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna press and hold the MOD button. So the MOD button, let me unplug this real quick. The MOD button is what we're gonna use to actually enter into the calibration process. So what we're gonna do is we're going to press and hold it. If you need to, you can always use a little hand driver. But we'll press and hold it. Now we're in calibration mode. So we have neutral, full throttle, and full brake. Back to neutral. The ESC will rearm and now we're good to go. So I'll go ahead and redo that again just so you guys can see it for a second time. We'll press and hold the MOD button. We'll enter calibration. It'll do neutral first. There's neutral confirmed. Now we'll go full throttle. There's full throttle confirmed. We'll go full brake. And there's full brake confirmed. Go back to neutral. The ESC rearms and now we are all set to go. And there you go. And that is how you calibrate the Teak and Speed Control. Now we'll swap over to our Hobby Wing. All right, so here we are with our Hobby Wing Speed Control in front of us. Now in this case, this Speed Control does have a set button and a power button. Some Hobby Wing ESCs will only have the power button. So it'd be a very similar process, but I will go over how to do that after we show you how to do it with the set button. So I do already have the controller set to 100 and 100 on our endpoints. And of course, as you can see, our battery is already plugged in, so we can go ahead and get into our calibration process. So with the speed controls that do use this set button, you're gonna press and hold the set button, and then you're gonna power it on, and then you'll keep holding the set button, and then when it goes into its like multiple beeping mode, 
that's how you'll know you are, are in the calibration setup. So we'll press and hold. And now that we are beeping, we are gonna be in the calibration process. So the first one is going to be our neutral point. We'll press it once. That locks in our neutral. We'll get a green LED on the backside here to signify that. There we go, that's a better way to hold it. Now we can go full throttle. Press the set button again, it locks it in with two beeps. We go full brake. It'll beep three times and then it'll rearm the ESC. So we'll go over that one more time. Press and hold the set button while we're powering on. Keep holding, keep holding. It'll start beeping. Then we can press the set button once while in neutral. Go full throttle, press it again. Full brake. It'll rearm. And now we are totally set up. Now in the cases of Hobbywing speed controls that do not have the set button, so stuff like the 10 scale, it'll be the same process, but you'll do everything through the power button instead of the set button. So for that, all you'll do is you'll press and hold the power button that will turn the car on. You'll keep holding it until it goes into that same beeping process. And then you're just gonna use the power button to lock in each. So you'll do your neutral, press the power button, full throttle, power button, full brake, power button, and then same thing, it will rearm. So slightly different than what the A-scale speed control is, but exceptionally similar. Now we've got that taken care of, we'll go ahead and swap to our final speed control, which is gonna be our Reedy. All right, so here we are with our final speed control and my dad's lovely, super dirty buggy. So just like we've done the past few times, we'll go ahead, we'll make sure our endpoints are already set to 100 and 100, and then we can get into our calibration process. Now this one isn't going to have any noises with it. Everything is gonna be done with an LED that is inside this power button. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we are going to press and hold. And then now we have a solid green LED. That tells us we are in the calibration process. So with that solid green LED shown, you'll have your trigger in the neutral position. You'll press it once, it'll blink at you, then it'll go to a red LED. That tells you that it's now locked in your neutral. So now I can go full throttle, press it again, it'll blink. Then it goes and shows a green and red LED. That shows it locked in your full throttle. So we'll go full brake, press it once more. It's now locked it in. So we can go back to our neutral and you can see in this case it's a 13.5 so our speed control enters back into the blinky mode. So we'll power this off. And then just like before, we're going to go ahead, power it on. Gonna keep holding the power button until we get our green LED. There's our green LED. We'll hold it in neutral. Press it once. Now we've locked in our neutral. We'll go full throttle. We've locked in our full throttle, full brake. We've locked in our brake, go back to neutral and the speed control rearms. So a very, very straightforward process. Now at this point that everything's calibrated, you can go into your endpoints and manipulate those in any way you see fit. But this is a very, very important process to make sure you complete on any new speed control you have or if you swap radios, that way again, your connection to your vehicle can be as smooth and direct as possible. If you guys have any questions regarding calibration or any requests for future videos, definitely leave those down in the comment section below. Thank you for joining me today and we'll catch you in an all new video next week.